Today's video is day three of our camp fishing trip. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors and this is part three of our camp fishing trip video series. If you haven't seen part one and two, I'll leave a link below in the description of this video if you want to check those two out. So this morning we decided to check out the Beaver Dam Leveler that we installed several weeks ago. We've been in a battle with the beavers for several years now out at our camp. It all began when the beavers started plugging our camp road culvert. This was causing the water to overflow the camp road. The first thing that we did to kind of combat these beavers was call out our trapping buddy Steve and he promptly trapped all the beavers for us. But the next year the beavers were back. So then we decided to install a beaver deceiver, which is basically a cage that we built and installed that goes on the upstream side of the culvert, and it makes it difficult for the beavers to plug the culvert. And that really has worked well for us, but now the problem is the beavers have a downstream dam they keep building higher and higher. And of course that raises the water level and that also causes the water to run up and over the camp road. I did several videos on this whole ordeal, and I'll leave a link to those ones too. So anyways, a couple weeks ago, we installed a dam leveler in the beaver dam. I won't go into all the details of how it's supposed to work and this and that and the other thing, but if you want to check out that video, I'll leave a link to that also. So today, we decided to check on the leveler and it does appear to be plugged. So we unplugged it the best we could and maybe in the future we'll have to make it a little bit longer and extend it further out into the deeper water. Yeah, a little bit more, huh? Yeah. Yeah, ideally. to go further yeah. out into the deep, I think. Knock it in a little bit. Yeah. I think probably the trick is you get the, uh, bloop. you get the dam level down to where the leveler is, and then it quits making gurgling noises, and that, that'll stop attracting the beavers. It's not sucking out of the muck too bad right now. But our beaver deceiver is still doing a great job. So for lunch, we're going to fry up a little bacon and eggs, and we'll have a little toast with it. And the eggs are fresh from Knetter Farms, which just means these eggs are from the chickens we have at our house. This is kind of a uh, budget bacon in that it's just kind of irregular pieces. So now we're going to go ahead and fry these eggs up 
and some of that bacon grease. a few pieces of bread like this and that's kind of how we toast our bread here being off grid Now that is a good looking lunch right there. After our late lunch, it was time to hit the water. Eh? 
So then after a fun, productive evening on the water, it was time to head back to the camp. So walleyes. We bagged up the fish, put them on ice, and we'll clean those up in the morning. If you're interested in how to clean a walleye, I did do another video on this subject, and I actually did it out here at the camp. So check that link out if you're interested. Then for a late supper, we had mushroom cheesesteak sandwiches. And I had mine with a spotted cow. Want some shrooms? Yeah. Maybe I'll have you just kind of. Have you kind of right put, put the shrooms, however, and then you know. all right? Then. There is nice looking mushroom cheesesteak. Uh, amen. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's pretty awesome, right? Yeah, absolutely. Four walleyes, mushroom cheesesteaks uh -huh. back at the camp. Yeah, can't nice. complain. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then the next morning it was time to pack up and head home. But me and the boys really had a great time. Alright guys, well there was the last day and a half of our trip out here to the camp. Um, had a lot of fun, we ate fantastic. We even ran into a few walleyes so that was pretty cool. Um, you know, guys, if you enjoy the content, um, be sure to like and subscribe. And also, remember to hunt fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter with Peter Knetter and Nick Knetter for Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.